What would you rather buy? The MSI X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi for $280, or if you're spending that much money, how about the MSI X870E Tomahawk Wi-Fi for $25 more? And the difference is, well, almost nothing really. But okay, let's go for everything as usual, shall we? Starting off with the CPU power is the exact same 14 plus 2 plus 1 configuration rate at a maximum of 80 amps. It even has the same maximum memory of a clock rating of 8400 mega transfers per second. So that is all the exact same as the X870 variant. But of course, the main thing that makes X870E or X870E is the additional PCE lane. So obviously when it comes to PC expansion, that's where we should be seeing the main differences. And while you still have the exact same three main PCE slots, all of them physical 16X unfortunately, the main one is, as you can expect, a 16 lane Gen 5 slot. Then you get a Gen 3 1X slot below that, which again could have very easily been physically 1X, but oh well, I guess only I care about that. And then below that, another physical 16X slot, but this one features 4 Gen 4 lanes. So that is all once again the same. The main difference we start to see is when it comes to storage, because sure, we well, still do have two PCE Gen 5 slots. When it comes to two Gen 4 slots, while before one of them had just two lanes, now they're both full four lanes, so you won't be missing out on half the speed on one of your drives. And in addition, the third NL2 slot and the third PCE slot no longer share bandwidth unlike on the X870. Though one thing that still shares bandwidth is the fast USB Type-C ports at the back alongside that second Gen 5 NL2 slot. So just keep that in mind. And to top that all off, you still get four static connectors. And other internal I.O. includes eight fan connectors, which to be fair should be the standard on these kind of mobile boards, and it's more than enough for most cases, plus three addressable ARGB connectors and one classic four pin non addressable one. And you may also notice that you get this strange eight pin power connector at the bottom here for any PC expansion cards that need some extra power, which pretty much AI cards. That's the main thing they kind of intend for you to use this with. Then turning the thing around to look at the rear I.O., it's identical to the X870, though that isn't technically a bad thing given how you still get a whopping 9 USB type A connectors out of which four of them are gen 2 and of course the star of the show from last time is back the whopping three type C ports two of which are 40 gig one of which is 10 gig though unfortunately they aren't all paired together so finding that one type C that's kind of off on its own is going to be a lot more difficult when you're just blindly feeling around the back of your PC when you're trying to plug something in you also get HDMI for integrated graphics which let's be honest you only really use for troubleshooting 5 gig Ethernet which isn't even unique to the Tomahawk given how even the cheapest MSI boards this generation have 5 gig networking, the expected Wi-Fi 7, and when it comes to audio, you get just two audio jacks and optical spidiff running out of the ALC4080 codec. Meaning that unless you need those additional PCIe lanes, then I don't think it's going to be worth it to most people. However, if you know you'll be putting a lot of M.2 drives in this or a lot of other expansion cards, like say capture cards or whatever, then it could very much be worth it. So you don't have to constantly be referring back to the manual, seeing which slots you can use and which you can't. Though, at the end of the day, that choice is up to you, so if you want to get this board, then our links will be up in the iCards and down in the video description below, where you're also going to find a Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Alef Ronyak, Bolish Roka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Mech Summon Machine, Allcraft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's it, it's, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.